But more severe weather uh, hitting the south this week. More than 60 reports of tornadoes yesterday in the southeast. Yeah, meteorologist Ryan Breton is here with more on the storms and some reminders about severe weather safety, which is so important, right? Yeah, this is the peak of the severe weather season in the south, Jen and Brent, but then it starts to shift in about a month or so uh, to Tornado Alley, the traditional one, Kansas, Oklahoma. Uh, but this is a look at the radar this afternoon, and it's another day of severe weather in the southeast. Here are the tornado reports from the last two days, 63 yesterday alone, and most of those reports were in Georgia and South Carolina. Now, I'm going to show you some video here, and this is not what you want to do if you ever find yourself in a tornado warning or in the middle of a tornado. This is a video from southeastern Georgia. A guy had just got off the golf course. He's in the clubhouse and he's standing on the deck and this is the tornado happening all around him. Obviously not a safe place to be. The roof got ripped off, at least pieces of it. And this is a good time to remember where to go in a situation like this. And it just so happens that every April 6th, the National Weather Service has a campaign on social media called the safe place selfie and of course the safest place to be in a tornado is in an interior room or closet or a basement if you have one and here's a great way to illustrate that here if you find yourself in a tornado warning uh, the best place to be is in the middle of a home as many walls between you and the outside and staying away from windows the best place of course is a basement. If you want to see some of those selfies, you can go to social media, Twitter, Instagram, type in hashtag safe place selfie. It's all a buzz in the weather community today and a good way to remind us ahead of the severe weather season here in New England. Jen, back to you. Interesting, Ryan. Thank you. And as you've just been talking about those severe thunderstorms and the bad weather we've been seeing in the south, in some areas of Atlanta, power lines and trees were brought down. 